everyone, it's Akriti Sachide from BeBeautiful.in and this is my super cute summer look. In summer, you want to keep it light and comfortable, yet at the same time, you want it to be bright and happy. So as you can see, my makeup is bright on the lips, there's a burst of colour, whereas my eyes is pretty muted because I don't want to overdo it. So if you want to know how to achieve this, keep watching. In summer, swap your foundation for a lightweight BB cream. The one I'm using is by Pons. And this comes in one universal shade. I'm just going to take a small amount and apply this all over my skin. So this cream is hydrating. It moisturizes your skin. It's also very long lasting. And it has SPF 30, which is amazing for everyday use. Just blend it with your fingertips. It's better to blend in upward motions so that your blood circulation gets stimulated. And you're going to literally go down your jawline and into your hairline. Make sure you don't avoid these areas because they're extremely, extremely important. And what happens with the BB cream is that you just want to keep blending till it disappears into your skin. You can use this just after you wash your face, smack some on and you're ready to go with this cream. If you tend to sweat a lot, it's better to use the Lacme Absolute Compact over the BB cream just to combat the shine. This is how it looks. And you take the sponge which is inbuilt inside, dab some on and just press it into the areas where you tend to sweat a lot. So the T-zone is really important because, you know, during the day, it will start shining. Underneath my eyelids as well. So make sure you really blend it into your skin. So you keep dabbing on and it will just smoothen out. That's it, now you're done with your base. Moving on to the eyes, I'm gonna be using one of my favorite palettes. It's called the Lacme Desert Rose Quartet. Okay, so I'm going to be using a smudge brush or also known as the pencil brush. If you don't have this, don't worry, you can also do this step using a earbud. So just take it, dab some of the lightest colour, which is this nude gold. And you're literally going to highlight your eyes with this colour. So using the tapered pointed brush, I'm literally going to just stamp it in the inner corner or tear duct area of my eye. Okay, so this is it. You just look into the mirror, open your eyes wide and just stamp it right there in the inner corner. You can make a small V as well, just to join them two together. And you see, this is really gonna open up my eyes and make them brighter. Now with the same shade, use your pinky finger or your little finger, take some on, and you're literally just gonna apply this underneath on your brow bone. So where the arch is, right underneath that, till the end. This will really highlight your eyes and at the same time it will look very natural. Don't overdo this step, it should look very natural. Now I'm going to be using the Forever Silk Eyeliner in brown. This is a pencil eye coal from the Lacme Absolute range and you're just going to be applying it on your eyelids and then smudging it. Don't worry about it being too messy, you will be smudging it out and everything will fall into place later. Now I'm going to be smudging it and creating a soft shadow. With the same smudge brush, you're going to soften your eyeliner. So use short strokes and go back and forth. You see the difference between the two eyes? This is soft and subtle, but if this is slightly more defined, polished and a bit harsh. Just close one eye and keep the other half open and you're just going to go back and forth and smudge the eyeliner. Now you're going to repeat the same step on the bottom of your eyes using the brown kajal. I feel using brown during summer is a lot softer as opposed to black and it looks beautiful on Indian complexion. I'm not going to go over the brown in the inner corner, I'm just going to leave that shine there as it is, untouched and continue on my waterline. Repeat the same thing on the other eye. 
and just like what we did on top we're going to be using the smudge brush and we're going to smudge the bottom to make it much softer next go back to the eyeshadow quartet and use the darker shade now that you've got it coated with the darker shade you're just going to coat your eyeliner with this eyeshadow so less is more this eyeshadow is highly pigmented so you don't want to take too much be careful apply very little and just smudge this all over your eyeliner every now and then it's good to open your eyes look into the mirror and just compare make sure both eyes are the same they're symmetrical or similar now that your eyes are all bronzy sparkly and defined we're going to move on to the mascara which will really bring a pop and open up your eyes i'm going to be using the lakme iconic mascara which is great because it's got a curved wand which makes everything so much more easier pot it and push your head back look down into the mirror and wiggle the wand from side to side and apply it In the inner corner I like holding it vertically just so that I'm more careful. This is how easy your eye makeup is. Quick, easy and great to sum up. Now next step, cheeks. For a pretty delicate blush, I'm using the Lakme Absolute Day Blushes, which is a mineral blush. Apply it with a blush brush. Smile, make sure to smile and just dab it on your cheeks. You're going to move this along your hairline and reapply on the other cheek. Use short circular motions to make it look blended and it shouldn't look like a stripe, so it's better to just softly blend it out. We're almost done guys, I promise. One more step. For your lips, I'm using the Lakme Enrich Satin Range and the color is my favorite pink. So just smack on the lipstick and you're ready to go. This is so smooth. You don't even need a lip balm, a lip gloss, nothing of that. That's it. This is your summer makeup done. Go ahead and flaunt that pink part of yours. And if you notice, this is why I've kept my eye makeup pretty subtle because I really wanted to save up on that burst of color on my lips. So, if you use a lot of color on your eyes and your lips, it'll be overdone. So just make sure you keep your eye makeup subtle if you want to use pop colors like pink. 